Coachella market. Oh, great! That's how it started. That's fabulous. Then Camden's Butterfield at the very beginning, seven years ago. Wow. Yeah. So. And I was selling. Uh, I found a, a old stock of a vintage seventies Pauline shoes from Italy, and I brought back all the shoes to, to start to sell in the market. Ah. And, that's that how, and then after I finished the shoes then i was just selling all my own designer clothes mm. that i used to collect before and you know just to live in london and yeah. selling the clothes day by day and uh, when i finish all my designer clothes nothing to sell so i start to make accessories sewing yeah. or the sewing machine yeah <laughs> and i start to you know uh, uh make some accessories bags and uh, actually my first piece i made was the shower cap ah. and that's how i was selling the market <laughs> you have a wonderful <laughs> reputation for your yeah. use of vintage, so yeah, yeah. that came from the market. Came from that, yeah. We always stay in this field because, you know, I didn't really wanted to choose to do fashion, but I step into fashion by, you know, by chance, by coincidence, and also I thought that time I I said to myself, if I go do fashion, I want to do something different. It's no point to do what people already done, you know, or especially in London, you know, high street is very, you know, competitive. And then, uh, you know, young design are very difficult to survive with the productions. Mm. And that's why I find what I do from the beginning, there's always, you know, certain uh, uh, marketing. Now, for this season, we're, we're transitioning from fall to winter. Which, what is your favorite uh, piece? I've just seen a fabulous piece on a form over there. Favorite piece is gone. Ah. <laughs> the theme was uh, um, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Oh, and, uh, are you showing next season in uh, February, March? Yeah, because I've been doing an uh, off schedule for a couple of seasons now. Off schedule is uh, you find your own venue, you organize yourself, you use the budget you have and you just do it. And have you thought about, I don't want you to reveal any secrets, but have you thought <laughs> about your next location for? Uh, uh, no, no. It's too early. Yeah, it's too, I always find it last minute. <laughs> <laughs> now, how is that project with uh, the top shop? How is, uh -huh. are you still? You, where did you read that? <laughs> She's my research. Put it on your website? Or All right, yeah. 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 Uh, all beginning of the year okay and also many years ago I used my first shop was on Fashion Street on Vic uh, in uh, East London okay and when I started I did a small range with them that time it's called my secret in the basement and recently beginning of uh, this year I did something for, for you know top shop them. yeah right. but I still prefer to concentrate to right. do yeah you know, Anything you'd like to tell uh, the viewers of Style Scout what to mm. look for? Well, always my best suggestion is you know trying to uh, build up your own originality and don't follow fashion, but you know create your own fashion. Yeah. And that's what you would tell the the young students, the yeah. people working on yeah. their mum's singer yeah, sewing yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people and students, especially when they go to school. Sometimes they just uh, they, they because they go to school they go to learn and sometimes they don't create they just go to learn from other people and if they like one designer then they will start to make things like this a designer and when they graduate they will make the whole collection like a Dior do you know what I mean and it's like yeah. a, what's the point you know you want to make something like other designer you should create your own style don't don't copy people I think that is something I right. against the most. Yeah. Are these all unique? All the pieces are unique? Yeah, they are yeah. unique. Good, then I got this. It's a Victorian uh, uh, broken skirt and a very old scarf. Ah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. And all the antique uh, jewelry. Yeah. And you shop the markets for that? Yes. And then did you sew on all the yeah. buttons and the applique? Yeah. That's a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's, so it's definitely all by hand. It's and homemade. <laughs> London couture. Do you sell in Japan? Yeah, I've yeah? been selling wholesale for the last uh, five years. Okay. So I still I, I do wholesale and then I do, yeah, 
which is famous store in Japan, so our viewers from Japan can see it. Well, United it's a, it's a Arrows. Oh, United Arrows. Uh, Via Bus Stop, uh, HP France, uh, a lot.